Hey what's up you guys it's Serge coming at you with another tech video and in this video I'm showing you my new Fire TV and all that I've done with it. Video coming up soon on how to do everything I'm showing you in this video. Alright guys let's check it out. Okay so here we have the Fire TV and right now my internet is going off so it says there is no internet available thank you Time Warner I'm going to go to settings and go all the way to system on to check system update and it's the same current version 51.1.0.2 uh, it says installed a day and last checked for the updates is checking now that's because my internet's off but I have disabled automatic updates so I can update it if I want to and I have full control over it and it's not forced because Amazon does force the updates while it's in sleep mode so it does apply the updates whenever you're not on so that's my system and let me just go over to applications and you have your standard Amazon game circle app store Amazon video App Store again, Aptoid, which is used to download applications. You could also put the Play Store on here. Art Kick Screen, I downloaded it from Amazon. It's pretty cool for you to present slideshows of pictures. And then BusyBox uh, comes, it works hand in hand with the root, so you can use root applications and such. Chrome, download this uh, deer hunting game to test it. Uh, test the game controller and ES File Explorer does work and by the way all of these do work on here ES File Explorer you can go and check the, f the file system when you have root you can go through the whole file system just as you can with your phone game dashboard Grand Theft Auto San Andreas hill climb racing the host editor and you use that to edit a couple of things here and there uh, I'll teach y'all how to use that I Heart Radio, Into the Dead, Magic the Gathering. So I uploaded a couple of IPKs on here just to test and see uh, what will work and stuff. And Magic the Gathering, we play some magic here, and, and that does work. More games, more games. Rotate screen orientation. You can rotate the orientation of apps. It doesn't rotate the orientation of the home screen as what we're in right now but it does rotate all the applications and that is necessary for Spotify because Spotify is not allowed or is not in the Amazon Play Store but you can upload it and sideload it with the APK and it works you just need to change the screen orientation to landscape on all the applications because it does get stuck on portrait mode and then it doesn't work right and 6-axis controller, I do have it working with the PS3 controller and I have been able to play games with it. So that's a Bluetooth controller that you can use. SQLI editors for more editing of SQL files. Super user, and it does work. And what I use to root it, Tau Root. Uh, awesome application made by GeoHot uh, and it roots any Linux based operating system in this case it's Android fortunately the update did not update to the latest Linux kernel which would be on June 3rd so Tau Root still works on this Fire TV then we have Twitch, Vimeo and XBMC which is the big daddy of this whole thing it's made the experience with Fire TV amazing and it worked so XBMC works on here and I will be showing you how to set that up too. So that's all the applications I have on here. Um, I will be showing you all how to do all of this, how to get all this working and more. Alright guys, so I just made this video to show you a quick insight of what the Fire TV has to offer and what I've been doing to modify it. There's still a lot more I plan to do with it. I just wanted to make a video and show you what I've been doing on my hiatus of me not making videos. I've been actually messing around with the Fire TV and with my phone, so expect more videos to come. I'm sorry for the delay in the new videos, 
but they are coming. So please be sure to like this video so more people can be enlightened by it and see that I'm working with the Amazon Fire TV. I'm going to be showing you how to do everything you possibly can do with the Fire TV to modify it and make it your own. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Uh, please be sure to check out all the other videos I have on my channel. I have a whole bunch of other tech videos ranging from cell phone to just in general tech videos. So please be sure to check those out. I'm sure you'll like them. Last but not least, please be sure to subscribe so you get the videos as soon as they come out on your timeline. Alright guys, my name is Serge. I'll see y'all next time.